They can't believe the talent that we have in this area. And so as I met the uh, talent, it was frustrating to me how none of it was being recognized. And so I put together uh, volume one of the best country in the West, along with Country Joe. And what happened with that album surprised me enormously. It exploded. Billboard magazine, the national trade magazine mm -hmm. and, and music wrote up a quarter of a page about it. And uh, all of the media around here was so helpful. And it sold so well. It's still selling well. And that led to uh, volume two. And volume two came out about six weeks ago. And it is picking up right where number one really didn't leave off. It's just, just number one just kind of overlaps and they're going along the same highway. They're, they're both going <laughs> very well again. What What is there to producing a record? Now, I know you just don't sit down with a couple of instruments and sing and do it all at one shot. It takes a lot of work, doesn't it? It takes a, an extremely uh, large amount of work. You have your material selection, and then uh, once you select the material, you have to decide what's the best way to do it, and then who to do it. And you must hear a lot of different songs, first of all, from writers, etc. You must hear a lot of different musicians. You must hear a lot of different singers, men and women. Now, they're not all good. Is it, is it tough for you to say, gee, I like your song, but I don't want you to sing it, or... Uh, Anything like well, that? I just excuse myself in the room and don't come back. Ah, <laughs> you sit right there, I'll be back. And... No, I, you know, you just have to tell people keep trying because that's what's great about country music. You don't have to have a great throat to be successful. You can uh, have a style, and, and everybody has their own style. Some just happen to uh, turn out to be more popular with the uh, audiences. What, what are po what's popular about This is, by the way, this is the album. You that's just kind of dropped into my lap here. Uh, this is the new one, Best Country uh, best country in the West. Let me show my two. picture on the back there. That's Rod right there. There's the Kathy. There's She's on here today. Now, Kathy Rich will be here with us today. Now, where did you meet Kathy? Kathy has been singing around here for a long time. I mean, she won a KSOP talent contest when she was 12 years old. Ooh. She has been a, a singer in this area for quite a while. And I met her when she was singing out in Bountiful. And then I helped her start working at the Westerner here, which is the... Uh, a big club in Salt Lake. Club, yeah, in Redwood Road. And she's great, and she uh, really deserves to be on the album. But getting back to your, uh, you know, when you meet people and everything else, you really can't tell anybody they don't have it because everybody does they have, have it. it. Yes. It's just kind of the circumstances and timing. And there's everybody that has different opinions. Are there a lot of country groups now, a lot of country vocalists here? In, in this, this area? Yeah, in this area. Oh, yes. Uh, not as many as there was because there's not as many clubs now, you know, supporting yeah, there, there's uh there's the Frontier Club still. No, no that isn't the See, on. I've been, I've been. We're, out we're, of touch. we'll do the Country Music Club okay. directory for all of you out of towners. Harv's moving on at 4403 South Main. The Westerner Club, 33rd South and Redwood Road. The Barbed Wire right by the freeway right. yeah, on uh, Fifth there. South, and Sandy Station, 90th South, Way and down the uh, right off the freeway. And that is really. It. So if you're a country singer and you wanted to break in your act in this town, you've got literally four choices to make it in, essentially? Well, except, and then there's DJs out in Bountiful, but that's it. There's only that many jobs. What, what, you know, I know so many people who go out and say, okay, well, I'll take a certain amount of money, X amount of dollars, and I will make my own record and distribute it. Loretta Lynn did that originally. That's yeah, a tough way to go, isn't it? You don't even have a 1% chance of making your money back or uh, getting known. What's a 45 going to cost you? Can you give us a ballpark? Uh, to do a 45, Decently. press it, produce it, everything, $3,000. Hmm. And you're never going to sell 3,000 of them. At a buck apiece. At a dollar, fair, 1,500. You, if you have some uh, rich relatives, you may sell two at $1,500 apiece. <laughs> what you're back saying back is getting them distributed, the whole thing is real tough. Right. But I, and this is what's uh, made the best country in the West uh, do so well. Al, the distributing here, who uh, does all the Grand Centrals mm -hmm. and Eli's Records, they have uh, marketed the album. And Handelman Distributing in Denver, Colorado for the Kmarts and the Sears. And I've been able to get tied in with these people. So you do get some moderate exposure right off the bat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, now, we're talking big exposures, national exposure, or worldwide, correct? Right, but I don't need that with this album, and, uh, of course... Would you like to crack that barrier someday? Well, yes, I'm going to do an album on the Sloan Brothers Band. And, Just for them. Yeah, and, of course, I want to have the national exposure on that. And this album gets sent to uh, label presidents, and they listen to it, and if there's somebody that... Uh, that appeals to it. That appeals to them, who knows? And if Jack Quist on the album, his last single... Jack's were down Nashville now, isn't he? Yeah. 
he, his last single hit number 52 in the nation. Yeah. Well, it did. Yeah. And this is his next single, Back on the Jacks on this album. That's his next single. Now, we've had Leslie Morley on, like a moth to the flame. She mm -hmm. did that particular. She was very good, too. Uh, what do you look for? I mean, is there a certain sound that catches your ear when you're, you know? Well, of course, there's going to be something that you go, wow, I like that. But uh, <laughs> so, like I said, everything everything can sell. It really can. It's depend it depends on how it's marketed. And how packaged it. And then how it's packaged. Is it a younger man, younger woman's game? Right now? Mm hmm uh, well, Is that yes you know, the, the uh, personal attractiveness always helps. Okay, I was going to ask you, you look for that? I mean, that's, oh, you bet. That's a key consideration. Especially right now with all of the video. See, because video now is even more important than audio. And I mean, so what you look like and how you present it is as important as how you sound or how you write. Well, especially right now because the video media is... Like television. Right. It's, it's taking over. As a matter of fact, uh, pretty soon... An album is just going to be a video cassette in stereo. Well, what happens? Do you hear people saying something like the Westerner? Or do people come to you and say, Rod, I got this song you just got to hear, buddy? <laughs> I have a lot of people <laughs> call me up and, you know, want to get together with me. But I have my certain group of people that yeah. I work with. And then uh, once in a while, if, uh, their rec if somebody else is recommended by somebody, if I hear a lot of talk about somebody, then I want to meet them. And uh, I get to know a lot of people and there is a lot of talent around here and i do songwriting myself and we got any of your songs on the album on the next album there will be next one yeah it'll be out in september you sing volume three uh i like to i love music <laughs> in the shower i mean you take a shower with you i or... sing with the sloan brothers at harvest oh do you yeah. you do so you're really into this what what kind of singers very much so. what kind of singers kathy that we're going to hear in the next segment what kind of singers kathy well i tell you it's hard to find a better female voice than what she has, honestly. She is great. I have a lot of respect for this lady. Uh, the song was written by Salt Lake people. Michael McLean, who works with Bonneville, and Chris mm -hmm. Harding, another person here in Salt Lake. And Kathy has uh, paid her dues. Now, Mike writes a lot of the Bonneville PSA songs, doesn't mm -hmm. he? Yeah, he does a lot of stuff around. He wrote the Utah, We're So Jazzed, you know, Utah oh. Jazz song. And Kathy is an extreme talent. She... Uh, right now is the top female singer in this area and she has paid her dues and if there's anybody that deserves to get over that hump it's her and hopefully the album's going to help here and uh, it takes uh, a lot of luck can somebody springboard out of salt lake out of this area you bet jack's doing it yeah, especially now you know we are a billboard station at ksop we have a lot of weight uh so if something really clicks in this area then somebody else may look at it like right. That. Well, this album has, has received a lot of national exposure as far as in the tr in the trade. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, people in Nashville know about the Best Country in the West albums. Well. And when are you going to be on? I've heard you sing. <laughs> I turned on the TV and I heard you singing Let It Be Me. Uh, and yeah, yeah, I did. That uh, was good. Yeah, well, thank you. I don't, sound, I don't sound too country. I did write a country song for Buck Owens once. He recorded it, put it on his back of his album, kind of. And in what, the was corner. what was it called? What was it called? It was, originally, it was a song I'd written for Tammy Wynette. I thought she'd sing it real good. It's called uh, Don't Leave Me Like This. Just... How's it go? Oh, kind of like, oh, don't leave me. No, I, I have to get my guitar. Now you've got it. Now you've got it. I got my cowboy boots on and everything. We're going to listen to Kathy Rich coming back right after this. Oh, so this is what a real cowboy disc jockey wears. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. Even 